In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a custom payment image using PayPal. And what I'm going to show you is how to do it after you've already created the button code. There's a section on PayPal's button code where you can put a direct URL to your payment image, but that's not always what you want to do, and it's not always convenient. So I'm going to show you how you can change it afterwards, and then you can change the image anytime you want. Okay, so let's go to PayPal to the button creation part. Okay, so here's where you create your button and create PayPal payment button. I'm not going to go through this whole thing with you, but basically you just go ahead and create your button code. And then down here, if you go into custom appearance, what you can do is you can use your own button here. And then here we have use your own image. Okay, now if you use this, what you have to do is you have to put the URL to where the button is on your server. Now this isn't always convenient, especially if you don't even know where that is yet. Also, it makes you come back and edit this code. You'll have to sign into PayPal if you ever want to change it. So what we're going to do instead is I'm going to show you how you can actually just change it on your own site. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll create this button with the default image. Okay, and then you get this here. It's got the button ID, etc. So we'll just select the code and then we'll copy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open our website source. Now you may have a website editor you like to use, such as Composer. You can use that if you want, or you can just open it with Notepad and then find where the payment button is that's on there now. Okay, so here it is just to, when we find it in Notepad, but let me open it up in Composer. Just show it to you a little easier. We'll open Composer. Okay, and then we'll click Open and we'll open our website that we're working on. Okay, so this website I'm working on, the main page is indexed and then the images are inside the images folder. This is a typical configuration. So let's open this up. Okay, here is the website and then down here is our current payment button. So let's put the PayPal right underneath here, the PayPal code. So we'll go grab our PayPal code again in case it's not in our clipboard. And we'll come back in here. And then all we do is we do insert HTML, paste the button code in, and click insert. Okay, and as you see, it inserted the PayPal standard button. But what we want to do is replace that with this button. So let's go and have a look at the source. If we just click here and look at the source, here's the PayPal source. And you'll find in here the image, okay, image source. Okay, and you'll see buy a button, buy now. So this is your source for the current image that PayPal is using. All you have to do is replace this with the path to the image that you're using now. So what we can do is just take our regular payment image that's already on this site. So here's our image source for the button. Okay. So all you have to do is just take this, which is the code to where our image is, and then just overwrite the one that PayPal has on here. So just overwrite. PayPal's button image here. Do a paste. Okay. So now if we go back to view, you'll see that we have two of them. We have the one that was on here originally and we have the PayPal one. So just highlight this and then click your delete key. That one goes away and now you have your custom image on here. Now anytime you want, you can change this image. All you have to do is go back to the source here and then all you have to do is where we have that image source and here it is here all you have to do is change this to the location on our server where that image is going to be the way I have it here images slash jpeg slash order 300 jpg what that'll do is anytime we upload the images and website together in the configuration they're in if we look at this here we have index and images. Wherever we upload this, it's going to find the image because we haven't given it an absolute path 
with HTTP and a domain name on the front so it'll always look here for the images no matter where we upload it. So that's the best way to do it when you're storing your images. So let's save this. Now let's go back to our web page here. Let's refresh. And there you see that our cursor's on there. And when we click this, we'll go to PayPal. And there it is. So that's all done. So that's how you can change the image on your website without having to sign into PayPal to change the code.